Hello, and welcome to this video showcasing the social media portal Notion template. Today, we'll walk through how to navigate and make the most of it, both from the worker's point of view and the client's experience. So, let's jump right into the tutorial. Here's the introduction page, where you can showcase your services. Since this is the first thing clients will see, it's important to introduce yourself authentically. To assist you, there's a detailed guide at the top of the presentation board, organized by themes. You'll find sections for introducing yourself, sharing your values, providing easy access to your business information, and outlining your mission. This entire section is fully customizable. You can add images, links, callouts, and more to make it your own. Right below, there's a quick form for your clients to fill out, allowing you to get to know them and their project better. Feel free to personalize the form with any additional information you need to gather. This page contains all the content related to the social media accounts you manage. Now, let's set up a content page step by step. First, click on the action button to create a new photo. Access the page and go to the Properties section by expanding the menu to reveal all options. We'll go through each one step by step. You can upload one or more images directly from your files or paste a link to an image URL. For the date, we'll set it to today. You can also add a reminder so you'll receive a notification via Notion on your phone or email, depending on your settings. The content type is automatically set as a photo, since we created the page for that, but feel free to change it if necessary. If your content is already published and you've received feedback from your audience, you can enter the number of likes, comments, and views here. The engagement will be calculated automatically, and these metrics will also appear in the social media database, as we discussed earlier. Now, add a description and select multiple hashtags from the existing list. Lastly, don't forget to choose the social media platform where you want to publish it. Go back to the DAWs board and change the status from Inbox to another one to move the content to a regular view. Just below, you will find all the posts for the week to allow you to manage your week much better. Same below too for the monthly calendar. This page allows you to manage multiple campaigns. To schedule a new one, scroll to the bottom of the dashboard and click the button to add a new campaign. Start by giving it a fitting title. Link a social media platform from your social media database. Note that only one platform can be added per campaign. You'll have two date options, a due date for the client and a publication date. Once you're done, Change the status from Inbox to another stage to move the campaign to the regular view. To add details, click the campaign to open the page. You can upload a preview of your work by either uploading an image from your files or pasting a link to an online image. From the campaign page, you can also link transactions and contracts. Just click the New button to create a transaction. Then add the transaction date. Depending on whether it's income or an expense, fill in the appropriate field. You can also attach any necessary documents. The contract section works the same way. Click New, select the contract type, and enter the date, allowing the client to sign it digitally with just a click. Back on the dashboard, you'll find all transactions related to your campaigns along with a monthly report for each period. Lastly, update the status of the campaign we created earlier to published, so it appears in the dedicated view. This area is dedicated to managing all collaborations for your client. First, head over to the Brands database and add a new entry by clicking the New button. A page will appear where you can enter the name of the company. Don't forget to add a logo by clicking Add Icon. You can either upload it from your files or embed a web link. B2B 
Be sure to use a square PNG image with a transparent background. Next, return to the dashboard to create your first collaboration. Click the New button under the Collaboration section to create a new page. You can add a cover image by uploading a file or embedding a link. Then, link the relevant brand by selecting it from the existing list. You can also select the content associated with your collaboration, which will appear on the page. Update the status of your collaboration as you make progress. If necessary, you can add transactions just like in the campaign section. Your new collaboration will be visible on the dashboard, and when it's complete, you can archive it by clicking Archived. As with campaigns, you can manage transactions and contracts directly from the collaboration page, and you can add a monthly report for all income related to your collaborations. Effortlessly manage your income and expenses related to social media management. All linked transactions will automatically appear on this page. You'll also find a monthly report for each category, including campaigns and collaborations, as we saw earlier. To set monthly goals, open a budget category page and enter your target. This amount will be reflected on the dashboard alongside your actual earnings. The progress bar updates automatically, so make sure to assign a category for each transaction. Now, let's take a look at the contract section. Here, you can create as many contracts as needed. Click the New button, rename the contract, choose the contract type and date, and customize the pre-configured template if necessary. Your client will be able to sign the contract with a simple click, just as we demonstrated earlier. You'll also find previously created contracts. To link a contract to a campaign or collaboration, open the Property menu and select the Relation property. Then, choose the page you want to link it with. The timesheet page helps you calculate the total amount to charge your client based on your hourly rate. This feature allows you to track the total hours invested in a project and generate a detailed invoice with a timesheet. To begin, click the button to add a new entry, name the task, and set your hourly rate. Then, enter the total time in minutes for the task, and the duration and total amount will be automatically calculated and displayed. The Meeting section is used to schedule appointments with your clients. To schedule a meeting, click the Action button on the left. A new line will then appear in the Inbox section, allowing the client to select a date based on your business hours and the times set on the introduction page. Be sure to add an end date and include the time option. Tags indicate the nature of the meeting, and the Priority property lets you rate the meeting from Not Important to Very Important. Click the checkbox to move the meeting from the inbox to the regular view. Below, you'll find a board displaying all your upcoming meetings and a monthly calendar. The Account Access section allows you to catalog the accounts you will use for the client project, providing direct access from Notion. You can also add links to any websites you need. To add another account, simply click the New button in the corresponding database. Name the new page and add a cover by uploading it from your personal files.
the workspace serves as a collaborative hub where you and your client can discuss content strategy and establish brand guidelines together. Explore all the communication tools that Notion offers in this dedicated space to streamline your collaboration. The Messages section allows you to communicate with your client regarding the project. Everything you need will be available in your portal. Click the first action button to get started. The new entry will appear in the inbox section. Rename the message, choose the subject based on the content, and select the priority. Once set, you can send the message, which will then appear in the Sent Messages section, allowing you to reply. Open the message to view its content, then reply as needed, and update the status by marking it as replied or cancelled, if necessary. Messages that receive a reply will appear in other columns, making it easy for the client to see your response. Feel free to archive messages as needed to keep the dashboard refreshed. The Sales Policy section allows you to outline all the legal information related to the services you provide, acting as a comprehensive contract for your client to review. Once both parties agree to the terms, your client can digitally sign the form with a simple click.